alien. The background noise, uh, which I guess this super instrument we have there, which is a huge camera, actually a phone. So the background noise comes from the fact that they have found an alien and they're cutting through it. Alien, which, uh, looking at the film again last night, um, surely comes from Wuhan. <laughs> it's the Wuhan alien from a lab, escape from a lab. Uh, joking aside, I do mistrust the channels. I believe conspiracy theories are idiotic. Trump supporters with their QAnon, their Italian satellites, bamboo papers, stolen votes are crazy, stupid. But with the lab, it's not yet clear regarding the virus. But in the area, well, um, I'm not impressed by this movie. I'm beginning to think I'm swimming against the current, and that's not good for our team here um, to refer to a comedian I've seen a comedian stand-up comedian who is taking on if I would be a Kipling if all around you are losing their heads and you keep yours I don't remember the lines but you get the gist I think <laughs> In, in the poem, the conclusion is, you're a man, my son, my friend. But the comedian is putting it upside down, as comedians do, and saying you should see someone, you should get help, a shrink. I'm paraphrasing also here. So, <laughs> so even against the current, it can sound interesting, original, but in cases it shows Destined for the cuckoo's nest, or you're losing it. So, I don't know, I was thinking, let's take this uh, fight against the alien. I mean, with uh, fire, you fight the alien, fire, really, in a spaceship? I mean, yes, I mean, it's, if it's uh, life or death, if it's the alternative, is you get eaten by that monster, by that thing, creature, alien, or you risk setting the ship on fire, I guess. You have very little choice, or nothing but these two, and you take the fire, try and win it. But, I don't know. Then, of course, the special effects are losing. impact with time, they become ever more dated, and it's also true I was thinking when confronting this idea, well, yeah, but today they're very slick, very good, especially that they make the whole movie Avatar and whatnot, but still we know, it's not like they create, we immerse and so, Anyway, uh, 52, it's at, so 57 in the most popular, I mean, audiences think this is nearly one of the top 50 movies of the moment. I don't know. On the other hand, super cast. Sigourney Weaver as Tweety, of course. There's also the Tweety Scott <laughs> director. Yes, sir. John Tuck. One of the very, very best regretted. He was uh, um, super superstar in the sense that he was incredibly good, glorious. Uh, not superstar as today we have. Let's say I keep referring to giving this uh, name, which is not nice, but there it is. Rob Johnson. I mean, 
John Fox because it, it's comparing the sun to, I don't know, this. Uh, in my uh, book. Uh, Jan Holm, Henry Dean Stanton. Yeah, Fred Koto. I was thinking I've seen him in other movies, and one where I've seen him is Midnight Bomb, where he's that FBI. <laughs> um, leader, he was the leader of the FBI team, looking for, um, for Robert De Niro, his character. He's uh, and the meta score is eighty nine. Impressive. I would put it at eighty five. <laughs>